the irony for Albania entering the world of tourism so late in the game is that we have a really unique opportunity to learn from everybody else's mistakes. Uh, our neighboring countries today are backpedaling. They're backpedaling because obviously some management plans failed. They weren't thought through. They allowed for just the idea of massive tourism seeping in and not understanding the impact that it would have on locals, the impact it would have on infrastructure, and especially like in sites like Albania uh, or UNESCO sites that have been around for 3,000 years. So this new management plan is really going to be interesting. I mean, they announced it in 2018. Uh, the success of that will be, can they maintain and put a plan in place for the next 3,000 years? That can modern day man and management plans really be successful? And, and that's going to be the success. I mean, uh, that's the true word of sustainability. Will it be able to sustain the next 3,000 years? And the minute that they start talking about, or any management plan starts talking about entrepreneurship, more technology, uh, things along that nature, you beg to ask the question, what's gonna to happen to the locals? Once you remove the locals from the equation of benefiting from tourism, then you failed. Because I'm a strong believer that create a country, create a site, create something here for yourself first, and then that's the reason why people travel, is to come to see how you live, not to create something catered around only to their liking. Of course, set standards, set, set safety, and address risks, but keep it real. Keeping it real is by keeping locals involved and locals to benefit from it. And that's the success. That's, a, that's pure sustainability, pure preservation, and that's what we fight for every day.